Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. The S&P 500 rose slightly to start the week on Monday as traders assess ongoing debt ceiling negotiations. President Joe Biden is expected to host top congressional leaders on Tuesday for the debt ceiling talks which were postponed from Friday. Treasury Secretary Jeanette Yellen told CNBC last week that failure to hatch an agreement on the debt ceiling would produce financial chaos, with the Treasury currently giving June 1 as the date when it could fail to meet its obligations. However, Yellen further hinted over the weekend that the US debt ceiling would avoid a default. Overall, the broader index added 0.3%. Meanwhile, the Dow Jones Industrial Average snapped a five-day losing streak, gaining 0.14%. The tech-heavy Nasdaq Composite outperformed, rising 0.7%. On Monday, investors digested the May data for Empire State Manufacturing Survey, which showed a collapse in manufacturing activity in New York. The survey fell about 43 points from April to a reading of minus 31.8, below the Dow Jones estimate of minus 5. Elsewhere, corporate earnings season is drawing to a close, but some major retail reports this week will give investors further insight into the state of the consumer. Home Depot reports Tuesday, Target and Walmart are set to report Wednesday and Thursday respectively. In company news, pipeline operator One Oak has made headlines by announcing its agreement to acquire Magellan Midstream Partners in a deal worth a staggering $14 billion. This strategic move will result in the formation of one of the largest companies in the country dedicated to transportation and storage of energy resources. The acquisition price includes a premium of 22% over Magellan's common units, totaling $8.8 billion in equity and $5.1 billion in cash. Additionally, One Oak will assume Magellan's net debt of $5 billion. The completion of the deal is expected in the third quarter, pending regulatory and investor approval. Overnight, US sectors were fairly mixed. Materials was the best performer, whilst utilities trailed behind, by far closing 1.24% lower. And the impeding arrival of El Nino is already impacting commodity markets worldwide, with its unpredictable nature potentially causing droughts, rainfall and price fluctuations for crops like sugar and wheat, while traders and farmers prepare for the potential consequences, but the actual impact remains uncertain for now. The SPY futures are pointing to a flat start. Thank you for listening.